Don't think it's your own merit, it's your own intelligence. It's your own greatness that brought you to pray. No, it's Allah. There are millions, billions of people in the world, past and present, who don't have the, this privilege of knowing about the prayer and standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the deprived ones. These are the less fortunate. These are the less fortunate people. There are people who know about the prayer and they don't do it. You are so fortunate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen you from among all these billions of people to have this privilege of standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala conversing with Him privately. It's a great honor and it's not your merit, it's Allah's. It's completely a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't think Allah owes you anything, you owe Him. You even owe Him with the fact that He brought you to the, to, to, to the prayer and He guided you to pray. It's not your merit, when you realize this, do you know what happens? You develop this humbleness. You stand in humbleness before Allah. You don't feel proud about yourself. Oh, I'm doing prayer and others are not doing it. It's not your merit. It's Allah's choice. So thank Him that He has chosen you to stand this standing of honor before Him. Be humble and thank Him for that. Because He could take it away from you if you, if you feel proud. And if, if you think that's not going to happen, there are thousands, if not millions of people who used to pray and they don't pray anymore. Let me give you a story of someone least expected to leave the prayer. There was a man who was born about 100 years ago, or less, 90 years ago. This man excelled from an early age. His teachers used to say, this is Ibn Taymiyyah of our time. Because he had phenomenal memory, analytical skills, and he wrote a book that until today is one of the miracles in the Islamic literature. And they expected this will be the most prominent scholar of our time. He wrote the book and it seemed that he was a bit proud of himself. He started to deteriorate. A few years later, he writes a book. And at the beginning of the book, there's dedication. He says, Ihda ila shaykhi al-shaytan. He says dedication to my shaykh and teacher, shaytan. He passed away as a kafir, non-Muslim. Alhamdulillah, he did not gain uh, popularity, but people know him, scholars know him. So if you think that you pray and that's the end of it, and you are better than others, watch out. This, those who know him, know this man, they said it's arrogance. He thought his knowledge was his own merit and he was better than others. And that was his downfall. So make sure when you pray that you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that and you refer that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's Allah's choice that he made you pray. It's not, nothing special about you. And only Allah can maintain that and increase it for you. So that that is actually guaranteed to bring humility and humbleness into your heart as you stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never feel proud about yourself. Please don't forget to like us and share us on the Digital Member Facebook and Twitter. Please also subscribe to the Digital Member YouTube channel in the links below.